All right, so welcome guys. Uh, here we are with the um, sort of the notes and the review of um, day number 10, but I'm also gonna go through a couple of things um, to give you some examples as well. Um, so, so today uh, Russell talked about uh, the order bump and the order bump can be a great way to add free money and plus in a lot of cases it can help you um, cover your ad costs if you're using ads, right? So one of the things that uh, Russell said was when putting the funnel together, it's important not to go too much um, or too over the top really with uh, OTOs. So what he likes to do and what he's shown in examples is that he likes to do two OTOs and then that's kind of it. Well, I know that you can go further than that, but I know it can also annoy people if there are, um, <clears throat> you know, too many sort of like upsells, downsells, upsells, downsells, you know, they've, they've bought one thing and they're trying to get to the thank you page. So. It can be annoying for some, and we've seen uh, examples of where that's the case, right? So, um, as far as order bumps go, um, just try and think of them as like like add-ins, easy throw-ins, um, something that's going to have to make sense to the offer itself as well. So, if I was doing like a physical product, then um, one of the the easiest and, and simplest way of getting extra money would be just to throw in like a VIP shopping option. Um, or even a complimentary product, which is at a, at a reasonable cost. But the more attractive and the more no-brainer an order bump is, then the better, okay, right? So now I have a funnel which um, I don't actively promote anymore. anymore. The only traffic that goes through it is through an email follow-up sequence that uh, all my leads go through. And when I had it as, as kind of like my prime offer, I was getting like 40% um, take rate on the order bump, which is you know pretty pretty decent. So it was a digital product and an order bump that was priced at thirty seven dollars. Now, um, if we go to if we go to the page here, I'm just going to open the, my screen up so you guys can see it. There we go. All right, okay. So this is the product here. Right, so now I use two, um, a two-step order form, so we're not gonna be using those, so don't get too worried about that, but uh, if I go ahead and click the special offer part, right, that opens up this bit here. So you've got the bit where they put all the credit card details in, and then this down here, which basically sells them on the order bump, right? So if I click that button, it automatically gets added there, so customers don't have to do anything else. All they need to do is click right there and they're good to go so pretty simple and straightforward so that's just an example of what an order bump will look like now this is quite a long order bump and you don't have to have all that much text or the graphics or anything else like that but you can kind of like get an idea of what's possible just by doing that so and um, let me just go back here and and when i was doing it um i actually had it initially at 37 dollars, so i increased it to um to 44 because I didn't think that it was going to be too detrimental on my take rate so I knew I kind of worked the math out and thought okay right well I can afford to lose x amount of percentage conversion on the order bump but still make more money right so that was kind of the thing and what's really funny was that when I was doing this earlier on and I was just writing out the notes um, though I noticed that there'd been a sale <laughs> so someone had actually gone through this this page that you're seeing here um, bought the product for seven dollars and then added the order bump to it as well so threw 51 bucks into my pocket uh, that was just uh, yesterday i think so the whole um the way it works is like so we have the the, the where they pay the summary the order bump and then the submit that or complete order button that's kind of like how it all works um, there's a link in here to do with the one pager as well so you guys can get access to what the homework is for today but I just want to show you another thing as well which is the this is what we imported yesterday into our accounts this is the funnel that Russell was trying to get us to work from so it all looks pretty easy pretty um, easy to, to manage easy to, uh, to put together very simple straightforward and when it's finished it will kind of look like this so this is um, how he's put it together. And again, using the, the scripts from um, Jim Edwards, that's what's gonna fill all these blanks in. Um, all here, all here, all here. Your own images, 
uh, and all the text and each time someone goes ahead and clicks one of these buttons it drops them straight down to the uh, the order form right so pretty pretty cool um, I like this a lot I like the way it's all set out the way that you can put your bonuses in there again as well and these are actually really easy to um, let's go to edit page is it really easy to to change and make your own very simple very straightforward so let's say for example we wanted to change the logo on the on the top left of it uh, let me just move my ecamm button bits around all i need to do is click on it it's going to open up image and then again i'll click here and then i can just add an image to it so let's say i just want to put that on there add the image all of a sudden now it's there and i think oh that looks kind of big i don't want it that big so let's reduce the size down to 50 yeah that looks pretty decent but even then you just think all oh, right okay well you want probably something a bit better than that personally i use my name um but that's that's just me um but if you got a logo that's great that's fine and that works and always 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 hit save when you've made a few changes right because if it doesn't auto save for you and you get into a pickle and something happens to your internet or you forget or you make a mistake um, you know you can always go back and reload back up and another key thing to remember here as well is that all this that you see here that's what's gonna that's what it's gonna look like on desktop but then up here we've got a mobile tab so if we click on that then you've got a mobile tab as well now this is probably isn't set up like this but what I tend to do personally for each section, you see the green part, greens are, are the sections, the blues are the rows, and then the orange is the individual things. So here's text, here's text, that's a video, that's a photo, and if you ever want to add anything to it, you just hover over, add new element, and it pulls in the thing on the right hand side, and then you can go ahead and add all this really cool stuff, right? So you've got a bunch of different stuff that you can add to it. You can put countdowns on there, and all sorts of crazy stuff there, right? So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, <laughs> what I tend to do is when I'm building a funnel, I will build it out all in desktop to start with, but then I will do this. I will go ahead, make a copy of each section, and then denote one of the sections to mobile only or desktop only. So let's say I want that one to be desktop only and then this one if I put it to mobile it'll automatically take me to the mobile editor so I go here and then here we are we're here this is the mobile only one so the changes that I make here won't appear on the desktop version okay does that make sense so it just allows me then to to make sure that if I've got large text on here then it might not look as good if I've got large text on mobile so I can reduce the actual text size just by clicking on one part of the text going to the little cog and then it will allow me to alter the mobile size so if I take that down to 35 or even take it down a little bit more let's say 30 now we've not got a single um, another good another good tip here you see I don't like to have single words on its own line so you see how that's got two on there that's just got the one. So if I wanted to change that, then obviously I'd need to make sure that I duplicated this section again, made one desktop, made one mobile, and then I can go ahead and sort that out from there. So I'm just gonna quit out this. I'm not gonna save the changes because I don't want to mess that up. But that gives us an idea of how everything looks inside of our ClickFunnels account and also how you can basically just change a few bits and pieces around to make it your own and as I said today is figuring out and putting in um, your order bump onto your or well you're onto your form or onto your um, whatever you want basically and I tell you what while I'm here let's do this let's put let's add the products in because it's gonna make more sense to you if you did this right so we're just gonna add a product and I'm gonna connect it up with stripe I'm gonna go to save and next and I'm going to name products. I'm going to say test. Oh, test product. 
price, seven bucks. Don't need to put this, but I'll put it anyway. Into USD. Shipping, origin address. If you're doing a physical product, you will need to put your physical address here. Um, billing description. So this is test one. Now, ordinarily you put something in there, which is because people are gonna see this part on your on your credit card. So you can put your name or your business name here and, and a product description of what the item is, just so they know what it is and don't immediately do like a, a stupid um, charge back on you. Right, so saving next. And there we go. Product variations, no, we're not gonna bother with that. Fulfillment email now. <clears throat> If you're using the SMTP built-in um, with ClickFunnels, then you're gonna to wanna to use that and put all your gubbins here, um, and then fill this in with the links to go to, th to go to the membership page and all that. So I don't use that because I use um, ActiveCampaign for my email marketing. So if I was to do that, I would trigger follow-up action. I would go to integrations, and I'm gonna, add to a list so if someone purchases this thing this is how it's going to do now you can do add with a list with a, with a tag as well so if I was just doing that let's just put uh, let's just put that in there add to the list save and next so you'd have to go and create the email list first inside of active campaign and then spin the API again to make sure it's all working this is where we talk about physical products is it a physical product or is it not so this won't allow you to do it until you fill out the origin uh, address on your product details, right? And once you flip that, then then you can uh, have that working for you, right? So you can go for saving next. Quick summary, yep, we're all happy with that. Turn to product list. And now we're gonna add another product. This time, this is gonna be the order bump. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna put that on there. One time, um, yeah. And here we're gonna go for, come on, order bump test. And we're gonna put that at, let's say it's 27 bucks. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with all of that, but now we need to make sure we do check this is the order bump. So that makes sure that it knows that it's the order bump and it won't just add it in as a regular product for people to check yes or no on. All right, so again here, for female elf, email I don't do. Trigger follow-up action. You, you can get granular with this because if someone's purchasing the first time, you don't need to add them to a list again as a purchaser if they are getting the order bump as well. Or if you want to retarget people later which didn't get the order bump, then you, know, you could always do that, but we can skip away from that bit at the moment and save the next one there. We should hit summary next. Let's go, let's go, return to product list. Oh, very exciting so far, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so now I don't remember if this actually had the order form, but uh, bits and pieces bumped in there. So let's just head to the bottom and see. Yeah, test product. Then if I click that button, order bump test. Excellent. That then becomes, it gets automatically added to their cart. Cool, sweet. Okay, excellent stuff. Um, now I just realized that probably the whole time I was doing that, I wasn't recording my screen. So if you want me to go through this again, then um, yeah, let me know and I will shoot another video. But I uh, hope it makes sense for you guys. Um, but like I said, if, uh, if it doesn't make sense, then I'll shoot another video and let you guys see me doing it all over again. All right, I'll catch you later.